All right, this is grade two, module four, lesson 10, and we're gonna continue using math drawings uh, to help students towards uh, really mastering that standard algorithm for addition. All right, so uh, we're gonna, first we're gonna line this up vertically. So we've got 125 plus 17, and now we're gonna model that. So 125 is one in the hundreds, two in the tens, and five in the ones place. And then 17 is one in the tens, and seven in the one, uh, whoa, that kind of looks funny. Seven in the ones place. So now we're ready to add. Now we can either look at the ones place right here, or we can look at the ones place here. In either case, we know that we're going to have 12 in the ones place. So 12 in the ones place means we can bundle 10 of those together to equal 1, and we know that we will have 2 left over in the ones place. So we can see that 5 plus 7 is 12, so that's 1 in the tens place plus 2 left over in the ones place. And now we have two tens plus one ten plus a new ten. That equals four tens. So we're going to put, oops, uh, four in the tens place. And then we have one in the hundreds, nothing in the hundreds. So all together, that equals one in the hundreds place. So we have 142. And if we wanted to, we could draw that. I mean, we can show that over here in our drawing. So we have 5 plus 7 is 12. So we can bundle these 10 together. These 10 ones equals 110. So we can see that we have 2 left over in the ones place. And now we have 2 plus 1 plus 1. That gives us 4 in the tens column. And then we have just one in the hundreds place, and so our answer is 142. All right, practicing a little bit again. Uh, now, the cool thing about this problem is they put 38 in the front. And so I'm going to put 38 in the front because the key for uh, this addition is that our students need to line everything up according to place value. So it's possible that students might accidentally do something like this, all right? And so we really need to show them that no, 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 that 38, 8 is in the ones place, the 9 is in the ones place, so we really need to line up according to the place value. And uh, so let's model this, so that's going to be 38, so that's 3 in the tens place, and 8 in the ones place. So there's 38. Now 149 is going to be 1 in the hundreds, 4 in the tens, and 9 in the ones place. So let's just look over here in our standard algorithm first. So we have 8 plus 9, so that gives us 17. So if we have 17 in the ones place, that means we have enough that we can bundle one in the tens column and have seven left over in the ones column. So now we have three in the tens, four in the tens, and a new one in the tens. So three plus four plus one gives us eight in the tens column. And then our hundreds column, we have nothing in the hundreds column. We have one in the hundreds column for a total of one in the hundreds column. So our answer is 187. But let's take a look at that with our disks, our place value chart over here in our number disks. So we have 8 plus 9. So that equals 17. So that means we can bundle 10 of them. So that's 8 plus these two. So we can bundle 10 ones together to equal 110. 
So what do we have left over in our place value in the ones column? We have seven left over in our ones column. And then we can see that we have three tens, four tens, plus a new one. So three plus four plus one gives us eight in the tens column. And then you have just one in the hundreds column. And so our answer is 187. Now I thought I'd show you this one just simply because it was a, it's not your typical traditional problem. So it says Jamie started to solve this problem when she accidentally dropped paint on her sheet. <laughs> Why she had a bunch of paint next to her homework, we'll never know, but she did. Now can we look at our drawing here to figure out what the problem uh, was that she was given, and then can we solve the answer? So let's first look up here at this first row up here, and I'm going to circle it in kind of like green here. So this part right here, uh, that's going to be uh, 148. And you can see that it's 148 because we have one in the hundreds. Oops, not four. Five. 158. Because we have five in the tens column, and we have eight in the ones column. So we have 158. And then in our second number, we have three in the tens column, and we have four in the ones column. This blue one right here, uh, this doesn't count quite yet because it looks like it's the result of bundling. So really, we have three in the tens and four in the ones, so that's 34. So I'm going to put that over here. And I want you all to notice the important thing is that we have to line up our ones and our tens columns and our hundreds columns. Everything has to be lined up nice and neat. And then we can add. And let's do that. So in our ones column, we have 8 plus 4, so that gives us 12. So that means we have enough to bundle a new one in the tens column, plus we'll have two left over in the ones column. And then we have five tens, plus three tens, plus a new ten. So that's nine in the tens column. And we have one in the hundreds column. So our problem was 158 plus 34, and our answer is 192. Now, if we want to take a look at the result over here, we can see that we had 8 plus 4. So that equaled 12 ones, but we bundled 10 of them. So what did we have left over? What we had left over is two ones left over, and that's these two right here. And then we had 5 plus 1 plus 3, so that gives us 9 tens left over. And we have just this one in the hundreds column, so we have one hundreds, nine tens, and two ones. And our last slide for this video. In the, in the morning, Mateo uh, borrowed four bundles of ten markers and seventeen loose markers from the art teacher. How many markers did Mateo borrow? So let's put that in uh, a place value chart. So here's our tens, here's our ones, and it said that he borrowed four bundles of ten. So that's going to be one, two, three, four. And then it says he also borrowed 17 loose markers. So that's going to be one in the tens column and seven in the ones column. So the question is, how many markers did he borrow? Well, we can see that he's got five in the tens column, and he's got seven in the ones column, so he borrowed 57 markers. And then it says, for question B, in the afternoon, he borrowed two bundles of 10 and 15 loose crayons. How many markers and crayons did he borrow in all? So basically what that's saying is we're going to take the 57 and then we're going to add in two extra 10s right here 
and 15 loose crayons. So let's, let's draw our place value chart. Here's our 10s, here's our 1s, and originally, uh, I'm going to do the 57 up here, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's our original 57 from part A. Now part B, I'll do it in blue, says we borrowed, he borrowed two bundles of 10. So I'm going to put two bundles of 10. And he borrowed 15 loose crayons, which means we have one more set of 10 plus five extras, because that's 15. So now, essentially, what we're doing is we're adding, uh, let's do it in black, the 57 from part A and 35 from part B. And 35 comes from these three in the tens column, these five in the ones column. Now we can add them together. So 5 plus 7, that gives us 12. So that means we can bundle a new 10 and have two left over. There's our 12. And then we have 5 in the 10s, 3 in the 10s, plus a new one in the 10s. So 5 plus 3 plus 1 gives us 9 in the 10s column. So the answer is 92. But let's take a look at that in our place value chart over here. So we have 7 here plus 5 here. Well, that's going to equal 12, which means we can bundle, and I'll do it in green, uh, these 7 plus 3. So these 7 plus these 3 equals 10. So we can bundle those together and equal 1 in the tens place. So we can see we have 2 left over in the ones place. And I'm going to scroll up a little bit. So we have these uh, 2 left over in the ones place. And then we add these 5 plus these 3 plus this 1. That equals 9 in the tens place. So we have an answer of 92. And that is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 10, where we're still using drawings, but we're really using, we're getting really close to basically totally relying on that standard algorithm.